Hi, this is Julie Harland, and I'm your math gal. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where you could search for any of my videos organized by topic. In Angles Part 2, we solve four problems about angles, and you can see problems number one and two right here. And this is the third and fourth problem we solve in this video. We're going to use the definitions of many terms given in Angles Part 1 to solve some problems about angles. In particular, we learned that a full revolution is 360 degrees, an acute angle is less than 90 degrees, an obtuse angle was between 90 and 180 degrees, 180 degrees was called a straight angle, 90 degrees was called a right angle, and we talked about complementary angles, two angles that add up to 90 degrees, and supplementary angles, two angles that add up to 180 degrees. So here's an example. The question would be, find x. So we're trying to find x, which happens to be an angle, and then state the two angles. All right, so first of all, you see this little box here. Remember, this means that's a 90 degree angle. So these two angles add up to 90 degrees. And in fact, they're complementary because if that happens for two angles, they happen to be, happen to be called complementary angles. But I could have had three angles. But in this case, there's two. So I look at the picture, and I know if I take the first angle plus I add the second angle, if you want to see it, sometimes angles are kind of written like that. There's one angle and there's another angle. They add up to 90 degrees. So we take the first angle, x, plus the second angle, x plus 30. And that should add up to a full 90 degrees, which I'm going to write 90. Notice I'm not writing the degree symbol each time. I'm using algebra to help me solve the problem. So what do I have here? I'm going to add like terms of 2x plus 30 is 90. Hey, feel free to put the video on pause and try this on your own first. And I'm going to subtract 30 from both sides. So that gives me 2x is 60. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So x is 30. Now remember, you can't just say x equals 30 because Really, x is an angle, so be careful over here. x is actually 30 degrees, so that was the first question. It says, state the measure of the two angles. Well, so one of the angles is just x, and the other one is x plus 30. Well, if x is 30, then 30 plus 30 is 60 degrees. And then convince yourself, if this was 30 and that was 60, would it add up to 90 degrees? And yes, it would. So there we are. That's the first problem. All right, here's a problem for you to try. Find x and then state the measure of the largest angle. So put the video on pause and try this one all on your own first. Okay, again, you see this little mark I've made here that shows it's a 90 degree angle. So together these angles add up to 90 degrees. So I'm going to add the angles, the first angle plus the second angle, which is 4x plus 10, has to equal 90 degrees. So what does that give me? Well, I'm going to add like terms over here. 5x plus 10 equals 90. I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. So 5x is 80. Then I need to divide both sides by 5. So x is 16. All right, 
So I should be able to go back. Now the two angles, I'm just going to write over here. One angle is x, so I've got 16 degrees for one of the angles, and the other one was 4x plus 10, which would be what? Well, 4 times 16 plus 10 would be, let's see, that's 64 plus 10. So that's going to be 74 degrees. Now, let's see, does 16 plus 74 add up to 90? Yes, so we're going to do a little check there that 16 and 74 tr truly do add up to 90, so it seems like a reasonable answer. But then the question is, find x and state the measure of the largest angle. So you'd say, well, x is 16 degrees, and the largest angle is 74 degrees. Hmm, don't know why it looks like it. There we go. All right, next problem. Find the measures of the three angles. Okay, so you see the three angles. One angle is x minus 5 degrees. We've got x plus 25 degrees and 2x. So put the video on pause and try this on your own first. All right, this time we have three angles, but they form a straight line. So remember all together, a straight line is a straight angle, which is 180 degrees. So we're going to add the three angles to get 180 degrees. All right, let's take this one over on the left first. So we take the first angle plus the second angle plus the third angle. I meant to make that a red, so you can see I'm adding what the three angles are. And that adds up to 180. Later, I'll put in the degree symbols. All right, so what do we have here? Add like terms. We have 4x plus 20 equals 180. And we're going to subtract 20 from both sides. So we have 4x is 160, and divide both sides by 4, so we've got x is 40. Now, notice this time it didn't ask for you to find x. It just said find the measures of the three angles. So you had to figure out what to do to write an equation so that you could find x so that you can go back and find the measures of the three angles. Okay, so the first one was 2x. All right, now we know what x is. What would 2x be? 2x would be 2 times 40, or 80. Put equals here. The next one's x plus 25. So since x is 40, we have 40 plus 25, which is 65. And the last angle, x minus 5, would be 40 minus 5, which is 35. So the first thing I want to do before I state that that's my answer is see if those three angles really do add up to 180 degrees, and they do. So I could check that 80 plus 65 plus 35, if you add them all up, you get 180. So good, that checks out. So now we could state the answer, okay? The measures, or I'm just going to say the angles. Just to make it really, I mean the measures of the angles. The angles are 80 degrees, 65 degrees, and 35 degrees. All right, let's do another problem where we don't have a picture. An angle is 15 degrees more than twice its supplement. Find the measure of the angle. Hmm. So what do we know about supplementary angles? We know that they add up to 180 degrees, and we know we've got two angles here. So let's call one angle x, and then the other angle. All right, how will we get the other angle? Well, it's 15 degrees more than twice its supplement. 
So let's call this first one x, the supplement. That might be easier when we go back. Because I'd have to know the supplement, right? And that means this is the angle we're looking for, right? In the end, we're trying to find this angle if we know the supplement, right? So, 15 more than twice its supplement. Well, what's twice the supplement if it's x? That would be 2x, but we want 15 more than that. So, if the supplement's x, then the angle we're looking for will be 2x plus 15. And what do we know about these two supplementary angles? We know that adds up to 180 degrees. So x plus 2x plus 15 equals 180. All right, so we just solve this as usual. We add like terms, and then we subtract 15, and then we divide by 3, and we get 55. Okay, so the supplement must be the 55. It's actually going to be degrees. And the angle we're looking for then would be 2 times that 55. That's 110 plus 15. 125 degrees. So the first thing to look at, is it true that those are supplements? Do they add up to 180 degrees? And uh, yes, 55 plus 125 is 180. And so it says find the measure of the angle, and we, the angle that we're looking for is 15 more than twice the supplement. So this is what we're looking for, right? And so that would be our answer, 125 degrees. If it said find the measures of both angles, then we would say 55 degrees and 125 degrees. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where you can view all of my videos which are organized by topic.